Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this webinar from uh, Wintermat, which is a project founded by the Interreg Mediterranean program. This is the first of a series of webinars which will present a plethora of good practices that Wintermat project collected with the aim to make known lessons learned and provide useful tools for supporting tourism sustainability in the Mediterranean island. Particularly, this webinar is dedicated to measuring sustainability of tourism activities through data indicators. So the webinar will take around two hours and will be recorded and made available on the project website in the future. The team today is composed by Lorena Vidas from Manci Toscana, Massimiliano Gini and me, Jasmine Andreaus from Confesercenti Toscana. And today's topic, will be introduced and discussed by five experts, Cristina Berzic, Daniela Pugliuja, Tina Sugar and Katarina Lovracic from the Institute of, of Agri for Agriculture and Tourism, Eastern Region, Croatia, and from Delibor Cvikovic, Director of the Tourist Board of the City of Mali Lojini, who uh, have implemented and tested the indicators. And that will show us also the uh, online indicators platform. So after the intervention, we planned a question and answer session. Then now I would like to give to the webinar attendees some advices concerning comments and questions. Please, during the presentation, if some questions or comments arise, please write it down in the chat box. Your question will be collected and discussed in the question and answer session. And during this session, if you want to take the floor, please write in the chat box, I want to intervene or I want to take the floor. Also, during the presentation for, of the good practice, we kindly ask you to turn off microphones and cameras. So now I would like to leave the floor to Christina Berzic, who will introduce the good practice. Thank you, Yasmina. Hello to all of you. Uh, good day to all. Um, my name is Kristina Bursic. I will uh, show you uh, a short uh, introduction about the, our project because it's a first webinar uh, about the Internet project and about Mitomet project. And after me, my colleagues will give you uh, little details about the topics that we are talking about. So I will share my screen. So today we are talking about uh, indicators of sustainable tourism. And just a moment, just. To I have some technical problems. I'm apolog I apologize. I don't know if you all see the screen. Yes. Yes, we can see the screen, uh, Christina. But the, they don't want to go. Okay. I apologize for technical problems. Don't worry, it happened. Okay. Okay. So it's our first webinar, and Vitamin Project is a project uh, that aims to deliver an integrated transnational strategy for the development of all year round sustainable and responsible tourism in the Mediterranean islands destinations through joint planning and cooperation between involved regions. And you can see on the screen uh, partners that are involved in these projects. And 
and associate partners in, in this project. And uh, first, in first six months of this project, we gathered the best practice, and today we will show you the best practice of Internet, uh, Internet Mediterranean Vitomed Plus project, models of integrated tourism in the Mediterranean Plus. So, Mitomet Plus was a model work project financed by Internet Med program 2014-2020 and it lasts for 36 months and it finished uh, at the end of January this year. In this project were nine partners involved in six countries and six partners from these projects are now uh, implementing Wintermed project. Uh, this, uh, this is uh, ANSI, uh, this are uh, ANSI Toscana, Institute of Agriculture and Tourism, ANETEL, and CPMA. And um, Region Tuscany and Nextur are our associate partners in the Wintermed. So, Mitomet Plus uh, was focused on the fo following types of actions. Improvement of public sustainable development policy, developing joint planning tools and action plans, and transfer of practice in other MED and EU regions. During this project, we had two pilot actions. One was testing a set of indicators through the sustainable tourism evaluation tool and the development of an open platform for data indicators. And that we will show you today. But we also implemented developing and implementing the Green Beach model in partner regions. This project, Mitomes Plus, was divided in two phases. Uh, in testing phase and capitalization. And testing phase includes 15 destinations located in four different countries and five different regions, Andalusia, Catalonia, Cyprus, Istria, and Tuscany. And after that, we try to capitalize many results through the, their mainstreaming into regional policies and extension to other MED and EU regions. And we also capitalized Mitomet project in, in this winter MED project. So main goals of uh, Mitomet Plus project was increase of knowledge and social dialogues. We want to develop tools that, that will help local stakeholders uh, to, to have uh, informed decision making so, so they have good data so they can make decisions based on good information. Uh, the other goal was improvement of coastal tourism planning at destination level and its coordination at MET area level for uh, transnational governments, and of course, mainstreaming into local, regional, and national policies. For the development of sustainable tourism indicators that we call Metamet Plus indicators, we use ETIS, European Tourism Indicator System for Sustainable Destination Management where ETIS was first launched 2013 as a European Commission suggestions because destinations are increasingly being called upon to tackle social, cultural, economic, environmental ch challenges. So these indicators was as guidance to help destination to monitor their destination level. Um, City of Mali Loshin, tourist board from Mali Loshin was also involved in this testing period. So they, Dali board will show us their experience. And in um, Midomet Plus indicators, sustainable uh, indicators, uh, we use this ethics. But also other destinations that use ethics suggest that uh, ethics the need to improve the data collection techniques and procedures. And many different researchers have tried to develop and test different indicators as the useful set of information for stakeholders and decision makers. So our goal in the Mitomet Plus project was to test the usefulness of Mitomet Plus set of indicators at local and regional levels aiming at their comparison on transnational level. 
So Metamed Plus is a continuation of a project Metamed. You can see on the screen who was the partners in the Metamed project. And this project was a pilot project that was implemented from 2014 to 2015. And in this project, we uh, make set of collection of indicators. We may, made SWOT analysis, gap analysis. We have open co consultation and suggest action plan. And we develop indicators according to these um, 10 priority areas. So we want to monitor the use of natural resources, especially water, energy consumption, waste management, uh, improvement quality of life and work, preservation of cultural and environmental heritage, preservation of identity and uh, increase better supply demand ratio uh, geographically and seasonally and traffic and mobility. So this is my last slide that I, that, that I want slide that I want to uh, explain you the development process and how we choose these 33 indicators. Uh, Inputs were scientific literature, different reports from different projects and edits, as I mentioned before. So we had one initial list of indicators that was suggested by the University, uh, with the University of Girona. Then we implemented Metamed Plus project. We test feasibility in four countries, regions, in Catalonia, in Cyprus, Istria and Tuscany. And then we use these indicators for the Metamed Plus project. In Metamed Plus project, as I mentioned before, we tested these indicators in 15 destinations in Andalusia, Catalonia, Cyprus, Istria and Tuscany. And finally, we agree that we will use 33 indicators that are uh, Two of them are global indicators, eight were economic indicators, seven social and cultural indicators, 16 environmental indicators. And we inserted uh, this in online platform that were developed by our uh, partners from Andalusia. And this is the open online platform Metamed Plus, which will be presented by that will be presented by my colleagues and if you have something to ask i can explain it later so i give the screen to my colleague daniela and that's all for me for now thank you thank you christina and so now uh, we give the floor to daniela Polihua which will uh, speak about the env environmental indicators. Hello. Hello. Hello, do you, do you uh, hear me and see me? Yes. You see my screen? Yes, we see yeah. your screen. I will try. If we can okay. hear you. Everything, okay, it is okay. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Daniela Poluka, uh, the institute, member of Institute's team, and I was also um, a member uh, of a team which implemented the Metamed Plus uh, project. Uh, today I will speak about the environmental uh, indicators. Uh, and uh, but before uh, I start, I would like to make a short introduction. Uh, to, just to highlight a few uh, points, few elements uh, that are important for the topic I will speak uh, about. Um, I would like to uh, emphasize that uh, with sustainable tourism development, we aim to manage the consequences of tourism in such a way to maintain a balance between its economic, environmental and socio-cultural impacts. Please note that here the keyword is a balance. Therefore, it is important also to identify the environmental indicators and to measure them as well. 
As you can see here, uh, we uh, have uh, in total 16 out of 33 indicators that uh, are categorized as environmental, uh, which means that about the f uh, of half indicators are in the environmental ones, uh, and this means that uh, the environmental uh, impact, the environmental um, aspect of the sustainable tourism is very important. Unfortunately, uh, we cannot uh, here analyze uh, all of these indicators, but we can analyze them as a four separate group uh, regarding the effect that they measure. So we have four uh, groups, uh, the groups of uh, four groups of indicators. The first one, uh, which measure uh, the effect on air, water, and soil quality. The second one, which measure the effects of conservation goals. Then the third one, uh, related to the effect on waste, and uh, the last one on energy and renewables. Uh, here, here uh, uh, we can say uh, that uh, well-planned tourism uh, is in accordance uh, with the principles of sustainability should be able to improve the quality of air, water and soil in destination. Uh, here uh, we can pose a few uh, important questions, useful questions that uh, can help us uh, to uh, predict and to plan some activities um, in tourism, uh, such as uh, has tourism been able to maintain the quality of water in the destination or uh, in places that promote pristine beaches, how clear is the water? Uh, or is there sufficient drinking water for, uh, for the communities in destination, etc., etc. Uh, here we have in this group uh, nine indicators. Uh, I will extract two of them, uh, which are related to the quality of uh, sea water. Uh, we uh, follow uh, in these indicators uh, the instructions uh, uh, of the European Directive, uh, which specifies the collection methods uh, and regularity of analyzing uh, water quality. Um, uh, at the beginning, I would like to highlight the importance of the input data. Uh, in Mitimet Plus, we had uh, um, a very, very uh, um, big problem uh, with this uh, data source. It is very important that you have reliable data uh, that uh, uh, we, uh, which you, you can use uh, when uh, the, you com compare your destination when you measure your uh, indicators. Here I will give you uh, two examples, uh, two different examples on two indicators. Uh, one is good and the one uh, is not so good. Uh, in the case of the indicator uh, 24, uh, we uh, were lucky because we had a reliable source of data, uh, which uh, was the, the database, which was regularly maintained and refreshed by Ministry of Environmental and Natural Protection and the Institute of Oceanography uh, in Fisheries of Republic of Croatia. Uh, this uh, was uh, the uh, website uh, which contains uh, the data uh, on the quality of water uh, in different formats uh, that you can use uh, for the calculation of your indicators. Uh, here you can see the example uh, of the quality uh, of water, uh, final assessment for the period 2016 to 2019, uh, where you can see um, for Eastern region that we had uh, more than 98% uh, of assessments uh, where where the water was categorized as excellent and uh, in less than two percent when it was categorized uh, as uh, good of good quality. So we uh, had uh, our good data and the possibility to uh, calculate our indicators. Uh, in the second case, the case of um, the, the indicator number 29, unfortunately we didn't have uh, data because there is no systematic monitoring of those parameters, in particular petroleum hydrocarbons is in uh, harbors and uh, marinas. Um, when we speak about the conservation, uh, we can say that tourism should be able to enhance and the, the, the improve the consequences uh, 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 of uh, the, the impact on uh, the, the conservation uh, in our destination. When measuring tourism impacts on conservation, we also can pose uh, some questions. For example, is tourism helping in protecting wildlife and other environmental resources? Has the number of endangered species increased or decreased? Does tourism support forest regeneration and marine conservation, etc.? 
Uh, here uh, we have uh, three indicators uh, and I will uh, speak about two of them uh, where uh, we have indicators related to the uh, conservation uh, of our areas um, in, in the sense of uh, areas protection and by biodiversity protection uh, plans. Uh, here uh, we have um, it, uh, here it was important to use the right data. It was important for destination to, uh, not to double count the sites protected under different regulations such as regional or national. And here we have the situation where we consider areas under the legal protection, national legal protection. Uh, here um, we compared our data, our values, uh, uh, with uh, the, the values uh, threshold recommended in the academic research, which was uh, the value of 12%. Uh, and um, this is the value uh, with which uh, we compared our data and allocated it with a scale and graded according to the position uh, of uh, this value. Uh, the same situation we have uh, with the uh, uh, protection, uh, the biodiversity protection plan, where we considered areas under the protection of uh, Natura 2000 uh, network. The third group uh, is of our indicators uh, was related to uh, waste management, uh, where uh, we all know that many tourist establishments uh, generate a relatively higher volume of uh, waste uh, uh, producted compared uh, to the locals' waste. Uh, so uh, here we um, can say that well-implemented waste management strategy is are crucial to prevent negative impacts uh, on, on the environment. Uh, we here also can pose a few important questions uh, such as how much solid waste is generated by tourism, is there a proper waste management system to prevent negative environmental impacts, uh, what is the ratio uh, of the tourism establishment waste in comparison to the local uh, waste. Uh, in this group of uh, indicators we have uh, two indicators related to the waste production. Uh, and uh, here we also have uh, different situations, uh, so we here compare uh, the, the low and high season in order to assess uh, the impact of tourism on the creation of waste. Um, here um, we um, put these uh, values um, in a ratio uh, and uh, we, according to the threshold is defined by comparing these uh, waste uh, volumes. Um, unfortunately, in this case, uh, the form of data that we had uh, wasn't uh, the adequate one. Uh, so we had this data only on, on the annual basis and we needed uh, for the monthly base, uh, base. Uh, that, and that was a situation in which we cannot uh, use this data for the calculation of our indicators. The same situation. Uh, we had uh, with um, the, um, uh, waste, the volume of solid or, or urban waste recycled uh, and uh, we uh, were not able uh, to use uh, this data uh, properly. Uh, in the last uh, group of our indicators uh, dedicated to energy and renewables, uh, we also uh, have uh, two indicators uh, out of 16 related to energy consumption, where we also compare uh, the values, uh, uh, so the energy consumption quantities uh, in the high season and low season. Um, here uh, we also didn't uh, um, um, had the data uh, available uh, because uh, our energy supplier uh, didn't uh, gather uh, this data in a form that we uh, needed. Uh, so uh, this, uh, these examples, uh, the similar one uh, related to the renewable sources, uh, are a concrete uh, particular um, examples uh, from the field, from the practical experience experience when implementing, uh, implementing these indicators. Uh, these uh, are uh, just a few uh, examples uh, of uh, uh, our uh, situations, uh, our, our indicators. Um, and with it, uh, I would like uh, to conclude and to resume uh, the issue. Uh, so here I would uh, like to uh, emphasize that measuring tourism impacts using these environmental indicators uh, could be uh, very useful in sustainable tourism planning as a guide in designing strategies to achieve a positive size of these indicators. 
uh, we, uh, we shouldn't forget that uh, in the case of um, indicators measuring, uh, we have to customize these indicators to our destination. Uh, for that, uh, we need a close cooperation of local stakeholders, the discussion, and uh, to, um, uh, to uh, plan uh, future activities uh, together. Uh, during this process, uh, you will show for sure face some problems and questions. For example, how to get the proper data, as you can, uh, can uh, as you already uh, saw in the, our examples. Uh, how to compare our different destinations? Could could we compare them? Uh, in the case we cannot, we we can compare uh, our uh, destination uh, in the, some time framework uh, in in some period uh, of time, for example. Uh, sometimes you will. Ask yourself uh, why to use some indicators, why, uh, how to extract the best quality information for our indicator, um, from our indicators, and how to use it how, uh, for uh, the planning of uh, the tourism. So, but all of this is a part of a process uh, and uh, it is a normal situation, but I could say that um, it is worth for a discussion and implementing. Uh, with it, I will conclude with a few um, sentences uh, from the article of Chris Wanamaker, uh, from the article uh, uh, entitled The Environmental, Economic and Social Components uh, of Sustainability, uh, where he um, uh, points out uh, the fact that when decisions are made, one part of the discussion should always go to the environmental impacts of the proposed outcome or result. And this is the end of my presentation. Uh, with it, I will finish. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you, Daniela. Um, Thank you. Very appreciated this uh, presentation. And now we give the floor to Tina Sugar. So, hello to everybody and good morning um, uh, to all participants. I am Tina Sugar and I am at the Department of Tourism and I was also involved uh, in the project activities uh, of the Mitamed Plus. So, in this part of the presentation, I will briefly present to you three sets of indicators out of total four that just Daniela presented, the environmental ones, and I will show you the generic global indicators, economic indicators, and something about social and cultural indicators. I will just um, read uh, all of the indicators that you can measure in your destination, but I will not closely uh, explain every uh, indicator because we don't have so much time, but you can get the idea how to calculate uh, each of the indicator. And if you want to find out something more about that, you can uh, see the guidelines about the indicators on the web page of the Mitomet Plus. Sorry, just a moment. So here you can see the generic destination indicators. We have here two out of three, 33 indicators and this one are global indicators about the destination management. So the first one is uh, the percentage of the area of the destination with a sustainable tourism action plan with agreed monitoring development, control and evaluation arrangement. So the main question is um, if there is a strategy of sustainable tourism in your destination, then you can calculate this indicator. And you can see here the formula. So the formula is about the area of the destination included in strategic plan out of total area of the destination. Also, uh, this indicator tries to measure the management commitment and involvement for the sustainability uh, of the destination. So the result is uh, presented in the percentage and here you can see the threshold that you need uh, to have to be uh, very good in this indicator. 
So um, the first indicator could not be calculated for Croatia because we do not have available data. And this is exactly the most common reason why we could not calculate some of the other indicators, as just Daniela said before. Data are monitored, for example, only at the local level or maybe only at the national level. So, or simply data is not available at all in our country. But for example, indicator number one was easily calculated in other countries that were part of the Metamed Plus project, such as Spain, Italy, or Cyprus. So for the second indicator named visitor satisfaction with their overall experience in, in the destination, um, we um, do the questionnaire and uh, the survey on the field on our three destinations about overall experience in the destination. So um, we ask tourists about their level of satisfaction with the destination and every tourist that answered the questionnaire with the level of satisfaction four or five was inserted in the final calculation. And here you can see also the formula and the threshold for the final results. So this indicator will be in the form of a percentage for each destination and the highest value is equal to 100% and the lowest one is equal to zero so, for example, in the calculation of this uh, indicator, the result for the city of Porridge, for example, in 2017 was 93%. In Italy, in destination Versilia, 94%. In Spain, Sant Antonin de Calon, 75%. And in Cyprus, Larnaca, 82%. So, you can see that uh, people and tourists that came in this Mediterranean destinations was, was really uh, satisfied or very satisfied with the destination. Um, okay, sorry. Um, in the group of economic indicators, we have eight out of 33 indicators. You can see here each of uh, them, but I will not explain uh, uh, everyone separately. Um, so, for example, indicators 3, 4, 8 and 10 uh, were not available for Croatia, uh, but the other one we calculated, so I will show you how. Uh, the 5, 6 and the 7 indicator we calculated with the statistical data uh, that we obtained in Croatia by a visitor, National Information System for Tourist Check-in and Check-out. This is a really unique online uh, information system that connects all tourist boards in the Republic of Croatia. So we have a really good uh, uh, available dat data on national, regional and uh, local level. Here you can see the uh, web page of the e visitor, but uh, for uh, the entrance, you need to have the username and password. But officially, you can get all the data that you want by, by the request. Um, and also, um, the e visitor is really useful for um, our country because we have. Uh, all, all the data, up-to-date database on accommodation facilities, accommodation service providers, real-time reporting for statistical and marketing purposes, and uh, it's good for better control of tourist tax collection also, and provides uh, daily insight into the state of tourist traffic in our country. So the indicator number three was the percentage of tourist organizations in the destination using a voluntary verified certification. Um, some of that uh, certification are EMAS, ESO, Ecolabel, Green Key, Biosphere, Travel Life, and so on. I will not show you uh, something more about uh, this indicator. I will just extract the one that we calculated in Croatia. So the second one is the relative contribution of tourism to the GDP destination. We didn't calculate even this one, but we calculate the average length of stay of tourist nights. So the collection data is from the official statistics about the accommodation length of stay. So we need the total number of overnight stays and the total number of tourists. And when you get the 
format of the results like percentage, then you can see your threshold in your destination. Then for the number of overnight stays, we also get, uh, uh, got data from the uh, visitor. You need the monthly basis number of commercial accommodation stays per month and annual basis sum of the monthly number of commercial accommodation overnight stays. Here also you can see the seasonality of your destination and compare with other ones. The collection of the data can be collected from tourist office, statistics or uh, equivalent. Also you can hear here see the threshold uh, that can be defined the average number of nights per month obtained from the destinations you want to be compared with. Then the occupancy rate in commercial accommodation is also the results in, is in the format of percentage. You need the number of occupied beds in month or, or in a year out of the total number of beds in the destination. So the data can be collected from tourist office statistics and the equivalent or directly from the stakeholders. And then you can define how many commercial or non commercial beds you have in your destination. So here you can also see the results interpretation. Uh, the indicator number eight is the direct tourism employment as percentage of total employment. Uh, so we could not uh, also calculate this indicator. So I will show you the, uh, the next one. And the next one was the average of total spending per tourist per day. So we also evaluated this questionnaire that I mentioned in the generic, in the global indicator about visitor satisfaction uh, with the destination. So we made a survey on the field on the three different uh, destinations and we asked tourists about their daily expenditure uh, done in a specific destination. So here you can see how can you get the data through the survey or maybe through then uh, approximation using credit card expenditure also can could be used. And uh, here you can see the results of the interpretation. So the threshold is defined as the average number of the evaluated destination. In this regard, the threshold is defined as following. So good is then more than 11% over the average. So here uh, you can just see if in your destination tourists are spending more or maybe less than in other uh, destinations. So, for example, finally we calculated uh, in Porac that tourists spent in 2019 106 euro, in Novigrad 110 euro, and in Rabat 136 euro. So, good situation means that your tourists spend more money at your destination, and the band one that they spend less money. Uh. And uh, here is the last economic indicator. This is the number of cruise passengers per day in relation to population. So the social and cultural indicators, uh, here we have seven out of three, 33 indicators and uh, number 11 and 13 we calculated also with the help of the data that we got from the statistic from the e-visitor national information system for tourist uh, check-in and check-out. So the first one, uh, you need to collect the number of pets in commercial accommodations for a given year and divide it by population in destination as registered that same given year. So calculate for last year available. Uh, the collection method, information regarding population to be obtained from the destination official statistic, information regarding beds to be obtained from the official statistics, private sector boards, chambers of commerce or others. So here you can see also the results in interpretation. An optimal threshold will be defined as the average value of the destination analyzed, then a scale below and over this threshold is defined as follow. Uh, so we could not calculate the next uh, indicator and this was the variation of unemployment rate between low and high season because at the national level we don't have this this data also on the local level 
So I will show you the number of equivalent visitors per, per resident that we calculate with the, so we need the number of equivalent visitors uh, out of the population for, for the same year. Uh, the threshold can be defined as an index which indicates the balance in number of equivalent tourists and residents. The next indicator is the number of second rental homes per, home, per one home. So you can see here also the formula, the collection of the data, the collection method, and the, the result interpretation. And all this and more of that you can see, as I already mentioned, on the, the web, web page of Metamed Plus, where you can find the guidelines. So the indicator 15 is the percentage of tourist attractions that are accessible to people with disabilities and or participating in recognized accessibility shams. We have something uh, in our destination level, but we don't have all the data. So the number 16 is the proportion of cultural uh, sites and practices under some protection label related to the total number of cultural resources. And this indicator tries to measure the percentage of the destination covered by a policy or plan that protects cultural heritage. So for the collection of this data, we need to find out the number of cultural sites inscribed in the World Heritage List or UNESCO List or other legal protection policies according to cultural protection on the national or regional legislation and the number of cultural sites offered and existing by a specific uh, destination. So here you can see also the result interpretation, proportion of protected sites and practices in relation to those two limits, uh, they are divided into three categories. So 50%, uh, it's a really good result. Uh, so if you can, uh, in your destination, obtain this result, this is uh, uh, a good uh, indicator then a good result for the indicator. And the uh, last one is the average wage in tourism for women compared to men employment. This uh, indicator we could not calculate because of the lack of the data, as I already said. So now on, my colleague Katarina Lovrecic will continue with the presentation and she will show you how to calculate these indicators on the open platform. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tina. Thank you for your contribution. Um, before going ahead, I would like to say that uh, we are happy because some question uh, comes and uh, we would like to invite you to, to not hesitate to write down some uh, question or comments. So question from uh, stakeholders, partners, or students as well are more than welcome. So now, um, Katarina Lovrecic will do her presentation. Thank you. Uh, hello to all, I'm Katarina, and I will tell you something about Mitomet Plus online uh, open platform and uh, show how it works. So, uh, to open online platform, we need to go to the official Mitomet Plus project website, and here we, what we do. Then we go here read more, and click on online common open platform. Oh. Huh? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so much. Sorry. Uh, I'm back. Uh, this is the front page of uh, the platform, and uh, red dots indicate the maritime and coastal destination included on the online platform and as we can see here is a five, five uh, countries included on the uh, platform this is spain italy croatia greece and uh, cyprus uh, first of all you need to register it as a new user here or logging 
with the password and the username. Okay. Uh, after that, we select the uh, destination whose indicator we want to view or compare with the uh, uh, other destination, or we choose our destination uh, for which we want uh, uh, to enter a new data or make some new, ch uh, new changes. Click here. Uh, online platform offers us four options. Uh, for each destination and the first option is a show destination this is a, a little text about destination then second option uh, take us to the official uh, official website of the destination here and the uh, next option show a list of all indicator and value of uh, meet indicators by the year uh, and also uh, here is a full methodological data uh, for example uh, it is explained how to calculate the indicators what data is needed for the calculation and uh, how we interpreted the result and other useful uh, information and the last option is show in dashboard. Uh, this option also uh, offers four way here in uh, which the result can be displayed. First one is my destination and there is a list of all indicator uh, for the destination in the selected year. Uh, this option has a semaphore uh, that shows the status of each indicator uh, in the destination but compare it uh, with the previous year for example yellow color means uh, that the situation in destination has not changed uh, compared to the previous year green one uh, means that the situation in uh, destination has improved compared to the previous year and here is you no know, red one we choose another year for example, 2018, and here is a red one, red color, and that means that the situation has uh, worsened it uh, compared to the previous year. Second option is comparative. Uh, this option works in the same way as uh, the previous one, but offers us a possibility to, uh, to compare our destination or some other, other destination uh, between two or more selected destinations. Uh, for example, choose these two. And here is also uh, semaphore like uh, before. Uh, then we have option evolution. Uh, we have to select one of uh, indicator. For example, we select uh, second indicator visitor certification with their overall experience in a destination and graph uh, show result between uh, the destination and between the select years here is a years and here is a select destination and the last one last option is ranking and here we also uh, need to select one of uh, indicator for example average lake of stay of tourists and uh, we can uh, choose the years we want 2017 for example okay and uh, we get graphically show a result of all destination uh, that meets the required indicator in a uh, select year so here is all destination and here is a uh, value of uh, indicator and that is all uh, about online platform in short and for conclusion it is important to say that the uh, platform does not display absolute number it uh, recalculates this number uh, with the aim that uh, the comparison between the destination be useful 
and in, or, in order to compare, to be able to calculate the trend in destination, uh, which is important information in sustain, sustainable tourism development planning. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Katarina. Yes, so now um, I uh, give the floor to uh, Dalibor uh, Chpikovic, Director of the Tourist Board of the City of Mali Loshni. Dalibor? Now you can hear me. Now, yes, before we yeah. cannot. Okay. Okay. Sorry. okay. Yeah, I turned off the microphone. So, uh, hello to everyone uh, from from the island of Loshin, island of Vitality. So we will share some experience that we have in the ETIS and also using the Mitomet uh, online platform. I just say, I hope that you are fine. So it's strange situation here on Loshin. So we are, the main industry is uh, tourism, tourism, but on the beginning of June, there is no tourist here on the hotels and camping site, but maybe it will be changing uh, in the uh, summer, summer time. So, uh, Little uh, in the beginning, I will just want to sh show you the facts about the loss and the numbers that we have here. But the okay, it doesn't work. Just a moment. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, I had the problem with the uh, with the presentation. Now it works. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just want to say that the Loshin is not just the island. It's archipelago consists of more than thirty islands, and the seven of them are inhabited. And the on the islands lived uh, eight thousand residents, and we have uh, three thousand permanent residence homes and uh, three hundred uh, three thousand three hundred second homes. Total capacity of the tourist beds is around 23,000. So when you put these numbers in the high season, there is over the 40,000 people on the island and all the uh, infrastructure is made for this 8,000 residents. So that's the big uh, uh, pressure on the infrastructure. I mean, traffic, parking place, uh, uh, water, electricity supply, etc. So. Uh, during this, uh, during the year, we have also 2.3 million of over overnights and uh, 350,000 uh, guests per year. Uh, as I said, tourism is the main industry. Where this 7.6 uh, employment is directly in tourism. When you add it to the seasonal workers, that means 55 percent. That uh, every second job is in tourism industry. A relative contribution of the tourism to the destination is. Uh, GDP is a 36 uh, uh, percentage that uh, it's more than uh, than in Croatia is the about 18, 19. So everything is here uh, connected with the, with the tourism. Uh, uh, when you go, when you speak about the ethics on implementing of the indicators and measuring. Uh, you, have to have the partnership with the private sector as the old data that we have is coming from the uh, hotel industry or the camping uh, spas uh, hostels that they uh, have to trust you that uh, they can share the data that they have with you uh, so we joined the the ethics at 2013 when the european commission launched the european tourism indicator system for sustainable destination and Mali Loshin was the first destination in Croatia as the pilot destination. 
Uh, in the beginning, it was 100 per, 130 indicators. Now uh, there are 43 of them. Why at this? Uh, you have here the list of the reasons, but the main reason is that we want to manage the tourism flow, that the tourism will not happen just for itself, that uh, you can make the decision in the destination. Me as the director, when I come in front of the tourism, some sport council or the city council uh, if we want to make some strategic plans that I have the values the number the data that will show the, the impact of the, the tourism on the infrastructure or on the environment so uh, it is has uh, 43 uh, indicators uh, they are divided to the four categories destination management economic value social and cultural impact and environmental impact uh, my colleagues uh, I have shown you some of the uh, uh, indicators, but uh, the 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 data that we have on the island of Loshi. Uh, we have here three indicators. Uh, we have from the uh, e-visitor, that's the platform for the checkout. Dalibor? Um, hello, Dalibor. I'm sorry for interrupting you, but uh, sometimes uh, we lost you. And we cannot really? hear, so we, we can see the, the screen, but we cannot hear your voice. I'm losing Perhaps it's a problem with the Wi-Fi. Hello? Hi, sorry. Um. Okay, uh, Dalibor, we cannot hear you. So what we can do is that we uh, share the your slides. And uh, you just um, turn on the the audio, the audio, just to see if uh, it works better. Yeah, I think it's the problem with the Wi-Fi, perhaps here. Okay. Okay. Or Maybe if you don't share the video, the slides, uh, it's uh, easier. We try to, if you if you can uh, keep off the the slides, and we we try to. Uh, share it okay yeah maybe it will be the better so i close the video now so you have here the volume and the slideshow okay exactly so maybe we see if okay and you have here the the sheet that we started at 2014 and now you have also the data of 2018 uh, we don't complete yet the 2019 here is some percentage uh, of the visitor they are satisfied with their overall experience in destination. Uh, on the right side, you have the sources. Uh, we work also with the Institute of the Tourism. They, will, they help us a lot, and especially Dr. Herva Saric, who was the first involved of the, uh, as we were, the, the pilot destination. Uh, we have also the, the percentage of the residents who are satisfied with the tourism in the destination is 84 per, uh, per percentage. It was in the 2014-95. Uh, uh, the difference is that we started with the uh, online survive, but uh, after that we didn't. Uh, it's not re reliable uh, the data. That that's why we uh, were engaged by the uh, Institute of Tourism to have the field uh interviews with with the guests and then they will uh, fill up the the question 
binary, it's we, we, that, uh, after that we have a better results. Uh, it's very good. It's very important to uh, to mention here that we have here the win-win situation as we have a satisfied guest on the one side and also satisfied locals with the, with the tourism. So the both uh, percentage is around uh, 85 to 90 percent. Uh, here you have something about environmental impact uh, and consumption per tourist night compared to the general population. It's uh, 75. Uh, 71. That means the the 71 uh, uh, energy consumption is made by the not just tourists but the tourist sector. That means the hotels, camping site. Uh, similar uh, numbers are also with the, with the water consumptions. So tourism spend uh, 240 uh, uh, liters a day, and the locals uh, do 120 liters a day. It's not just the spending of the tourists, but the spending also in the pools, in the upper parts, and in the in the in the gardens, in the in the kitchen of the hotels. That means there are big impacts of the uh, tourism industry on the infrastructure. On the right side, you see also uh, as we have agreement with the, all the stakeholders to give us the information. So that's the responsible person in the hotels uh, sectors in the camping sites in the uh, hostels it was also very hard in the beginning so they not they don't want to share the the data with us in the beginning but after the few years and we also have the presentation at the end of the each year to the stakeholders to the city council uh, of the collected uh, data now uh, you need to have the collecting at least at four four or five years to make the trends uh, now we will use these indicators as uh, in the autumn we will start with a new uh, master plan of the tourism and some of the indicators will be implemented in our new master plan. Uh, the impact of the environment is uh, is certainly the session that the tourists uh, uh, in the session that interests of the most in the terms of the energy consumptions, waste and production. In fact, our goal is to put uh, this consumption in the ratio that some of the limits are uh, in the use of these resources so that we can better obtain the figures and interpret the understand what the zone of uh, utilization were in. Uh, we have a problem with the ethics uh, as the ethics has two main goals to capitalize the experience of the measuring and monitoring and uh, put all in the online platform and also to compare and benchmark am among the destination unfortunately through the circumstances circumstances uh, at the time the idea uh, of the platform and the compare between the destination didn't work we left for ourselves to to do the ethics uh, for uh, for our loan as was stopped by the european commission that's why uh, I was uh, two years ago in the one presentation in Porridge, so I also uh, talk about about uh, our experience and uh, share that uh, we need to have some kind of platforms that we can uh, have the standards of the ethics and also to compare between uh, the, the destination. And after me was the presentation of the colleagues from the Spain, from Andalusia, and they presented the Mitomet platform, which are we also using now. Uh, so uh, the colleagues from the Institute uh, tell you a lot about the platform, but the, the main things is the uh, principle of the destination profile, indicator set, explanation for each of the indicator, how to measure it and calculate the data, recognize your own progress or setback and benchmarking among among the destinations so in this in example of uh, lotion you can see the descriptions of the uh, lotion as the destination as i said before with the population with the number of, of the tourists and the total area and uh, coast uh, land uh, here are the sum of the indicators in the uh, uh, in the platform are 33 of them in the is 40 for the free, so I think all the, the indicators that we have in the ethics are implemented here in the platform. Uh, to the data, so, so it's very useful also for us. 
and uh, it's also good for the comparing to the other destination we put it here the uh, Larnaca I think it's on the Cyprus so that the similar destination that is on the island and uh, you have here the uh, also the uh, lights that means if you are in the green that you have in progress in the trends if you are in the yellow that you have the same standards and if you are in the, in the red then you have some negative uh, uh, standards and you can also then compare your numbers with the numbers in other destinations it's very useful for us and uh, in the future i have some suggestions here which i want to share also with you uh, that uh, the standards should be made by the uh, characteristic of each of destinations so it's not the same thing to compare the destination on the on the coastline, the destination in the, in the urban zone or destination of the islands is also uh, defined by the number of the population, the visitors, uh, type of the tourism, seasonality. So all of this should be uh, uh, considered uh, when you uh, speak about the standards. And as the winter mid is the focus on the islands, uh, maybe we can have the common policy for the islands. That means each island is connected with the need to be connected with the mainland uh, through the ferries or the, or the plane. So we can speak about the e-mobility and also energy self-sustainability that we all the, uh, the water or electricity that we spend on the island should be here and also marine biodiversity so we are surrounded by the sea and uh, we can measure and monitoring the climate changes uh, uh, the protected areas uh, the the rising of the sea level etc and then with the joint of the common policy we can also have some uh, benefit all together not just on the Adriatic but of all the Mediterranean so on the end as I coming from the tourist sector I want to also divide invite you to visit the Loshin that we share uh, on the first hand the, the, the experience of the Loshin and uh, also uh, if you visited us uh, go uh, uh, to the September as we have on the September the action that if you spend here the holiday you will get uh, ferry free or uh, free uh, ferry tickets uh, will be included in the price of the accommodation. Sorry because of the Wi-Fi I didn't I don't know if you heard me uh, all about okay uh, you see the 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 the, the presentation it will be also online so thank you for now thank you thank you Dalibor um yes now uh, I would like to open the question and answer session so we finished with the presentation which I found very exhaustive, and I thank you, uh, the speakers. Uh, we have, as I mentioned before, uh, we have some questions that came from uh, the chat box. So I go through these questions. Uh, Massimiliano Gini had two questions. Uh, one of uh, uh, it, one of them, uh, it is already uh, Daniela already answered on the chat box but maybe uh, we can just uh, answer uh, by voice so maybe people that uh, didn't uh, read it uh, can uh, can get the, the answer so the first answer is uh, the first question sorry is uh, how challenging was for a destination manager to find the data I don't know if uh, Daniela want to uh, to answer this question. Uh. So um, it is not easy. <laughs> it is not easy always, uh, and I can say that we um, spent a lot of time in finding the accurate information, uh, in uh, checking this information um, uh, from different sources, uh, and uh, it, it, needs, it needs time. But uh, when you have a system, when you have a good network uh, with national bodies uh, um, or regional bodies, uh, then you can uh, get uh, the data uh, in, in the cases when the data 
data exists. <laughs> uh, sometimes you, ca you can um, get the data and uh, from this data calculate uh, the data you need. So it is the uh, indirect uh, way uh, for uh, collecting data. Um, and uh, since uh, now we had experience with the Mitomet uh, project and then uh, the project Mitomet Plus uh, and some, in, uh, some experience with ETIS, uh, we um, offered our destination uh, to help them in collecting data and calculating data. Um, so uh, we as a, a, the Institute uh, are here for them uh, to help them uh, and uh, together maybe improve uh, uh, our and their system. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Daniela. So uh, we say we can say that uh, it is not easy uh, to gather the, the data, but uh, establish uh, a good network of stakeholders and cooperation with national and local bodies will help a lot. Yes. So created network is important. Um, the second question is how difficult is to guarantee the updating of data over time? I don't know uh, uh, who expert uh, want to answer to this question. You know? Yeah. Uh, hello. I I want to first say thank you to Dalibor Cvitkovic for give us their experience in uh, this webinar. Uh, and I think by explaining a little bit uh, uh, what we have done, I will answer the question. So first, we are very happy that we, we can use experience from uh, Mali Loshi and from other destinations and this Three years was not easy to collect data, but we tried to manage, we, we, we managed to find a way that this complicated data can be easily read in a chart and compare with others. Uh, we, will, we are aware of some uh, difficulties and some negative aspects of the online platform and online platform will be improved in in future but now we try to develop online platform that will be user friendly you don't need to use all the indicators you will collect indicators that you have and you will see how other indicators are collected by other uh, municipalities, other destinations, so you can organize your information and your data in future in a similar way. Because if you collect data in this way, you can compare with other destinations. You don't need to compare with other destinations. The indicators are for you to manage from year to year where you are have improvement and where the improvements are not very good you are going in the wrong way so the platform is mostly for the local stakeholders for tourism destinations they can help one person mostly tourist board who already have many data uh, like uh, how many overnight stays in the destination and similar and they can ask data from other, as Daniela said before, and other uh, national or other organization. And next year, it will be much more easier. So in case of Istria, we collect the data for our destinations in testing phase. And we are here as an institute. We will help all our destination in Croatia if they want, even other also, our colleagues from Andalusia will help in, in any way to uh, manage. If you, you just need to chat with them and they will help you how to do it. And when you try, you will see it's not so difficult. But first time is always uh, the hardest one. Yeah. So I don't know if I missed something. Thank you, Tina. I think that. Uh... Uh, you you answer right, and uh, this is actually a valuable work that you are you are doing. 
Um, so the the platform is uh, the work of the platform platform is uh, always uh, on to implement it and improve it. And let's say I would like also to add and uh, to thank uh, Dalibur because uh, I would like to um, to make the congratulation for the good job that uh, and the good work they 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 have done. And all the researchers, the data collection and analysis be financed through the project. And uh, yes, we would yeah. like to know. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yes, but that Is just, uh, yeah, thank okay, you for, so for the compliment, but that's just the first step. So now we have the indicators reliable, but you have to put it uh, why you measuring something or not. So now, uh, you have to put it in some of the strategic plans or the, to put them uh, that they have their values. So you, you know that the indicators, but uh, it's not just the point in the, in the measuring. So you have to put it in some uh, plans and that you have some, uh, how to say, uh, to, to be worth of uh, the, the measuring. So yeah, that's the second part. So you have to first to measure something and then after that to implement it. Yeah. So we are now okay. in the second phase, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, so we have a last question uh, from Daniel Costa, and he is, uh, who will do the updates of data in the platform when the project will finish? Well, project is finished at the end of January, and now it's capitalized in Wintermet. So we want to raise awareness of our destinations that they can use this because it's free to, to use and we hope they will find it interesting that because the idea of indicators is give you useful information for your plan, plan and tourism policies in your destinations. So if you don't have data, you cannot know what you don't know what you need to change. So this tool give you data that can give you the, the direction what needs to be improved. Until now you can guess, you, you know your destination and you are guessing you probably do, if you do this it will be better. But if you put it on paper and compare with other destination or not compare with other destination, compare with your destination from last year or today, two years before, then you will see if you are going in the right direction. This is the main idea of this tool. And it's, it's free to use, it's not very difficult to use now, it's not very easy to develop it, but now it's user friendly. So we hope destination will use it, and we will use, we will help our destinations to implement this in in this area. And I think that uh, all other partners will help their, their destinations if they are interested. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you, Daniela. Okay. So we have finished the, the question from the chat box. I don't know if uh, somebody else would like to uh, have uh, the floor to ask something to our experts. Okay, I think uh, there is nobody. Okay, so um, we can say that uh, the presentation and uh, we can close also the uh, question and answer uh, session at this point. Uh, I would like to thank uh, all the speakers um, for their contribution and, their, and to be for being available today because uh, it was uh, really nice from your side. And um, I would like also to add if somebody else has some question in the coming day or weeks, uh, you, can, uh, you can send this question by email. I send you the email uh, in, on the chat uh, box. And uh, 
Yes, I thank also all the participants, also for your passion. And this was the webinar, uh, the first webinar. So we hope that you find it useful. And we invite you to fill our evaluation questionnaire afterwards. Uh, the evaluation questionnaire will help us to evaluate the webinar and improve uh, the next ones. So we will send you the link by email today. And uh, you uh, need to fill it by 10th of June. Uh, thanks again to everybody. And uh, I'd like to remind uh, the next uh, dates. So we will have uh, the next webinar uh, about the Sustainable Tourism Itineraries Guidelines on uh, 16th. And on 17th June is planned another webinar concerning a toolkit for analyzing and promoting the co-evolution of human activities and natural systems in touristic coastal areas. So, however, we will send you uh, the invitation for both uh, of these webinars in the coming days. So, thank you again, and uh, I, I wish you a good uh, uh, lunch break from uh, the WinterMed team. Bye, thank you. Bye, Daniela.